Hello everybody, welcome back to Bedrock Survival with Fix It. Today, it's time to do some more building. I want to stay right in this area that we've been doing, and I think that the next thing I want to address is this church, which is actually going to be doubly cool, because not only is it right on sort of the, the, the well square here that we have set up, but also it's going to be the other side of this house, which is going to, I think, really help to make this area feel less spread out and a little bit more condensed which is what i really want for this place so i think that the best thing to i don't think this church is salvageable because it's just so little it's so little you know uh um my original plan was to try to keep as many of these little buildings as i can and i have i have a little bit let's take a look over here if you go over this direction i think one of these houses blends completely in uh this one this one right here, it just totally blends in. You don't even really notice it's there. And I think that's cool. I think some of these others, if we're really smart with how we do the roads, that can work out as well. I don't think this church is one. You know, it, I just, I want to do, I don't want to do a massive cathedral, but I want to do a bigger church than this. So I think we have to take it down, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, let's go empty my inventory and we'll take it down. All right, it's down. Of course, it's raining. Of course, it's raining. And uh, I, okay, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay out the footprint. I do want want to have a little bit of a courtyard, just a little bit of one in front of the church. So I think I'm gonna because I want to. I'll have a little fence here with a gate, so that way you'll walk in from here. You'll probably walk in about here, and yeah, there'll be. I don't know, like, I don't know, how, like maybe a little opening here, like maybe three wide, something like that. And this will be the wall, right? So there will be a little bit of a wall, not huge, not huge, but the wall will go right along the edge of this, which I think will be really, really, really cool for the side of the courtyard. That'll look awesome. So uh, we're uh, the church. Let's go absolutely straight from this. So we'll do the entrance right about here. OK, that'll be the main entrance to the church. And let's come out from here like that okay i think that should be cool i'll lay out the footprint and we'll discuss it this is the outline that i went with i think it's nice i think it's cool it's not too extravagant just uh too little they're not even gonna be towers but two little minor peaks over here minor peak over here maybe a middle uh bigger one here and then this will slope down and just be a sort of more typical sort of church I, i'm just going for a, a a small little chapel i mean really you know i i did the cathedral over in the other part of this world i don't need a huge one here just a small little one something that's going to fill up the space and then we're going to do a little courtyard around here with maybe a little tiny graveyard on the side i think that'll be really cool over there and help fill out this place we might even do the graveyard the whole way up to where the uh the the mountain is there i think that could be kind of cool all right, let's discuss what is going on here thus far. So I decided to go with this. So there's going to be a, a, a meet. The back is not going to be tall really at all. These are going to be a little bit of extended wings. That's going to be a little bit taller, I think. This is going to be medium tower, and this is going to be the tallest tower. I think that'll give some nice height differential. And if you don't know what I mean, then you'll probably see here in just a little bit. So the first thing I want to do is I want to bring up the app, the actual tallest one, tallest uh, uh, tower. That way I can sort of address the sides compared to how big it is the other thing i decided to go with is I, I i want to try this again which is a little bit of a different variation than what i did before right now i'm smelling up a bunch of cracked stone bricks so i'm gonna have that as variant here um to put in here but yeah i think it's gonna be cool and then what we'll do is we're gonna open up this entire thing like like this big is gonna be a three wide entrance i'm just it'll be taller but i'm gonna leave that so i know where the where the wall is there but i think yeah, I think this will be good. So let's build up this tower. And the way I'm doing it is, let's see. Um, this is actually the front. So we're going to go here. We'll go this. Wait a second. Let me, let me verify this. I think at the top of this, I think uh, we're just going to do a regular, the most regular uh, tower peak imaginable. I, I think that's all I'm going to do for right now. I, eventually, we might come in. But I don't think I want to go out from this. I don't think I want to add in... Uh, like any ex any sort of sides that go out I, I think this is better i think it's better to sort of keep this one going really 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 straight especially considering that i know i'm going to be adding in these other towers so i think the next thing i want to do is well let's add some light i think the next thing i want to do is probably add up these middle towers here that way i know i that way i just know that the look is going to be you know good basically so let's do that next and see how that feels this is going to be a little bit messed up with my little design here because this tower kind of goes in by one block over there. I don't think it will really matter, but I think what we'll do is we'll just go here and here and then like that. Okay. 
Okay, I want to layer this roof a little bit. So I think the next thing I want to do is probably bring in this uh, trim, uh, which is going to go all along the way there. The other thing that I think we'll do is we'll go here, which is going to be one off this. That way this can have a separate layer, which is actually going to be right here. Um, so we'll do like a layer here. I don't know. I don't know if we'll, what we'll fill this up with. Uh, and that's only going to go to about maybe here, which then there will be a smaller tower, like around that height probably here, that then this roof will flow up into. You see what I'm saying? I think it'll be cool. I think you'll, you'll, you'll like it when you see it. Okay, so just give, give me two shakes and let me, uh, let, let me work out this roof design and then, uh, and then we'll come back. I got something new I'm going to try out. This is a test version of a stained glass window. It's pink, pink glass, and, and this is not the keeper. I just wanted to test it and see if I like it, see how it feels in bedrock, and uh, and we'll 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 try it. We'll try it anyway. So let's go like this. And what do you think of that? It's it's a little carnival-y, isn't it? But it kind of looks like stained glass. I can kind of see it. I can kind of see it. And then I'm thinking I'm thinking do this whole church in this. I think it's not bad. I don't think it's exactly where we want to go, but I think it's generally not bad. Now I did something else back here. I did a uh, a little bit of a circular window and you Realm of Aston fan may notice, you may think, hey, that sure looks like a church at the end. Yeah, I know. Look, it's, <laughs> I'm trying to make a fancy window in a church and there aren't that many choices other than like cross imagery. And that's something I, I think I, I'd like to stay away from here, right? Oop, I missed one. What do you think of that? I, you know what? It kind of looks, I think it kind of looks like a church. I, I think that I need to tweak a couple of the colors. I don't think the colors for the stained glass are exactly there yet, but you know, this is something that Jermsey Boy added to our Realm of Aston pack a long time ago. And I've come to rely on this so much for like decorative type of builds. And um, so I wanted to try my hand at making one. I don't think it's too bad. Unfortunately in Bedrock, we can't do connected textures and we can't do we can't do variants, right? So I could maybe do a second stained glass window if I wanted to have, if I wanted to have some variation, you know, I'd have to use two blocks to do it, which I'm not totally opposed to, but you know, it's actually, it's actually not bad. Now there's a couple other things I want to add to this, to this build, and I want to give this a little bit of a footer. So I'm thinking just a little bit of a, of a base that's going to make it look like it's, it's helping it to stand up. You know what I mean? Like, because otherwise I think it could potentially look like it could pus, you know, maybe teeter over. And I think that's just going to help give it a little bit of girth there. Um, but other than that, I think we're going to be good. Then I got to do some decor decoration at the top. We are, we're coming in on the end of this. It's starting to shape up. I think I want to add a little bit more detail to this aspect of it here as well. So I, I was just looking at this window and, and, um, yeah, I don't love it, and I think I think one of the things I don't love is is probably um, I don't know, like maybe maybe the lack of, of window or lack of depth or something. I, I'm not sure what, but I, I think that's going to be a better a better feel for sure. Also, I threw in some cobblestone and stone brick walls. I think it it, it makes a nice difference. This is going to be a lot better once we get in, add in some uh, some cracked stone brick. And stuff, but I think we're we're getting there. I got to do these other windows, but uh, it's yeah, it's starting to starting to shape up. I'm laying down some of this stuff, and I I think this is really cool. I think it's really really cool this way of fencing in the gate. I I can't remember who I got this from. I, I want to say it was uh, Edgy and Sai maybe from a VD uh, Sandrascu thing they did um, back in those days. But I'm not I'm not sure exactly. But in you know, I, I'm just, I'm thinking that one row of iron bars is a is like a country, you know, back roadsy kind of church. You're basically keeping out animals. Two rows of iron bars is like a city church and you're trying to keep out undesirable people that might do, you know, mischievous deeds inside the, uh, the church grounds. Right. So I, I, I do think like, I think it's a big difference here having two gates. I haven't decided if I want to go slabs on top or not, I might try it and see, but, but yeah, I think, I think this is already a nice start. I am chewing through my, my iron reserves here like crazy, but and it's all going to be worth it whenever this is amazing. I did a live stream between the last clip and this one last night. We went for about four hours and just in this bedroom world and did a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff. It was, it was really fun. It was really cool. Uh, but it, for one thing, I got the daylight sensors on and, uh, had to go to the nether and get some, uh, 
get some uh, glowstone and some other things. But but yeah, I got all that done, and uh, yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good in here. I do I need to work out lighting, and I want to work out. Uh, I think what I want to do is is in here. This will be a stair staircase that's going to go up and it's going to go across into this main tower where there's going to be a little bit of like living quarters. I think like maybe the priest would live here, right? So. Uh, this could be a storage room, maybe a two-floor storage room, and over in the top of this uh, center tower, since this is so tall, that could just be a little humble uh, sleeping chamber for the bed for the the priest, because there's not a there's not another real place, right? There's not another extension out the side of this. A couple other things I did is I actually I got a whole bunch of levels from trading, and I, I accidentally triggered a raid. Pillagers spawned in in the villager trading hall. It's so ridiculous. So I, I killed them, triggered a raid. We fought off the raid. It was actually, I hate to say kind of easy because I don't want to get too full of myself, but it was kind of easy, honestly. So we we beat the raid back and uh, uh, I got Hero of the Village. So I did a whole bunch of trades. Looks like that is over, yeah. So did Hero of the Village and and uh, yeah, we got a whole bunch of levels and I actually enchanted my diamond axe and got an efficiency for axe and I got an efficiency for a shovel, so it's really, really, really nice to have those have those things for all the trading and things like that that we want to do. The last thing I really want to do with this, other than the living quarters, which I'll do in between clips, is over here, I want to put in just a little bit of a graveyard. I think that would be kind of cool. So I grabbed some coarse dirt, and I think what we'll do is we'll go, um, let's take this part out. Yeah, let's take this part out, and then... Wrap a little path around, just one way. I'm not gonna go the whole way around. We'll go from here, we'll go around, back in there to to have just, just some simple little graves, maybe some simple little trees. Man, a couple things I'm gonna need in this part of the world is I'm gonna need another cow pasture for sure because the the old one that I have is is not able to 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 work because it's not loaded. You know, it's not in a loaded uh, chunk. It's way back at spawn, and uh, although that's not that far, it is far enough that it's not gonna work for me. So I'm gonna have to make actually I'm gonna have to make a new a new. Uh, uh, cow farm at some point I'm, i just use basically the rest of my leather to craft these these nine bookcases and you know so it's time uh here i do want to add in i grab one back and grab some glass i want to add some windows right here i think that'll be look really nice maybe let's go three watt high and down here i think maybe we'll do three high as well oh shoot uh no come back and then ha ha man uh the the mechanics mechanics anyway yeah i so I, I started a new project on live stream last night and and it it was it was really cool it was really fun i think it's going to be sort of my new streaming project and it's going to be basically um creating a river creating a man-made river uh, in this world because i i want to have i want to have some interesting land features and i think that you got to start with the river so that's the lowest point and then as we get on in a little bit more time then we'll go into the highest point which is going to be the mountain and the castle let me show it to you right here this little gouge that you can see that is going to be one of the two waterfalls that we're going to have so we're going to have a custom waterfall coming down here and and then trailing off and these rivers are going to go and they're going to go the whole way into that all that farmland over there i think it should be a really nice feature especially given that i use shaders in this world so i mean the, the water is so beautiful the river's going to originate right here in this little cave where there's going to be a custom hill that the castle's going to sit on top of on top of that. So, I mean, there's a lot of work and the iron farm's going to sort of be semi underground in the new, you know, in the new area. If you follow over this direction, this is what we did on, on stream. And probably the next bunch of streams are going to be basically doing custom landscape here, I think, which I think would be really interesting. But, um... Yeah, this is not going to be one. The other one, the other waterfall is going to be over here. Yeah, and you know we're gonna, we'll make this look really pretty. Uh, and another river, the river is going to go over there. It's going to go over, and they're going to connect, and they're going to go right into the the and hydrate all the uh, all the crops. It should be really cool, which will mean we'll have some interesting bridges and little road things and elevation changes and stuff like that. Yeah, should be awesome. Uh, really looking forward to that. So if you're not already, if you don't already have the bell rung on YouTube, that's the only way to find out when I'm live streaming because I have no schedule. I live stream when I can, whenever that is. So. If you want to know when I'm live streaming, then make sure you hit the bell on my channel and then you'll get a little alert, push alert, uh, alert in on your phone so you know when I'm streaming. Over here I did a couple trees. The only thing I really need is I need to just bone meal off this grass a little bit and just make it 
look a little bit more naturey. And I decided that I was going to name this after my my pets. This is my first dog when I was a kid, Barney. Uh, this is my cat that we got probably in '84. Uh, Lucky. And then let's see. Uh, then this is Cappy. That was the cat I got in college, the beginning of college. Oh no, it's a little after college, probably like. 2001 or so I got Cappy and Cappy unfortunately passed on this is my beloved dog this is this was my dog I got on my own um, after graduate school I got this just wonderful dog and she was the greatest and she lived a long life we just lost her last year in fact uh, my son's my, my son's partially named after her, my younger younger son and uh, this was a companion dog that we got for that dog for for Sydney as she aged we got Ozzy um, unfortunately, uh, the relationship didn't work, but, um, Ozzy was an older dog that had some, some health problems. We thought they could maybe sort of age together and stuff, and they did not get along at all. Uh, so it didn't, the, the, the adoption didn't work out, but I think Ozzy, unfortunately, has also left this world. So though Ozzy was never an official pet of ours, uh, we still, I still, I still love them, and, and we, we, we miss them all. So here's, here's to our pets, our beloved, uh, other family members. All right then, I think we are good. I think we're good on this little little tiny church. I did do a little bit of ornamentation out there. I, I wanted this to be flat, and the more I looked at it, the more I thought, eh, it's just too flat. It's just too flat. But let me show you around the back. I think it's pretty nice, especially now adding the bone meal. It really adds a lot. I threw in some benches and uh, you know, just some places for people to sit. I still, this texture, mm, still not quite there for me. It's a little suede. I, I, got, I think I'm gonna change it to the same color as the chest so it really works well with chest textures i think it could be really nice and uh we'll see we'll see how that goes but uh on the inside uh i added just a little bit of carpet and checkerboard pattern and uh, a couple tables lots and lots and lots of lanterns over on this side this is where the priest lives if you go up this little thing uh staircase up here you're gonna get to his study this is where he can you know, do all his book learning, <laughs> and then up here is just his, uh, his bed chambers. Not a lot to see. They're a beautiful painting. Uh, the John Smith paintings are great. I although I'm going to change them out for sights of of two brothers uh, eventually. Eventually, we'll change them out for sights of two brothers. But for right now, you know, this like 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 this house. You know, for example, like I, I think something like that would be a nice little painting. And you know, we're going to do the same thing as what we did in Fast. And I think it's cool to have pictures of the world around in the world. So that's going to do it for me though today. I, it, nice little church build, I think. And uh, I, I'm enjoying doing the very small stuff here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do the river in the live streams, work on the major landscaping up there. Uh, things like, like, like real grindy stuff like that we'll do in live streams. And then I'll continue building just little houses, little church, all that kind of stuff here on the, the episode. So if you're enjoying it, please let me know. Uh, comments are really, really appreciated. And I will see you all next episode of Bedrock Survival with Fix. Bye, everybody.